you know, I always wonder what fighters, what's going through their mind when they get in a position like this. You know, I'm literally still <laughs> pinching myself like I'm in a dream. Like this, this, this didn't really happen, but it really did. But I'm always wondering, I was like, damn, when Devin was looking at Ron Garcia, what did he see? It, in this moment, right here, what did he see? And then I figured it out. We t- tell you what he seen. He seen this. <laughs> ah! He seen Kroger. He was looking at Kroger. <laughs> Look at him. Oh man. Ryan was his nightmare, man. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Dang. And you want to know what Ryan looks like now? <laughs> Ryan, Ryan looking like this right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, he's on vacation. That's when you see Kruger. What we looking at, we see Freddy Kruger. This is what who Freddy Kruger looks like. But when we look at Ryan Garcia, we see Ryan Garcia. But when Devin sees Ryan Garcia from here on out, he's going to see this right here. No, he going to see he ain't going to see that one. He going to see he going to see that right there. <laughs> that is it. That's what he going to see. <laughs> Every time he face if he face Ryan Garcia again. Uh, you may say he was acting crazy. Kruger looking crazy right there, ain't he? That was Garcia. He embodied Kruger. Devin Haney takes on the 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 the, the dream. And Freddy Krueger, for those who don't know, this guy stalks you in your dream, turns your dreams into nightmares. So I'm like, man, is Ryan Garcia? Because they want an immediate rematch, but it's not up to them. The, all the everything is on Ron Garcia. What he want to do? Ron Garcia already didn't told him right after the fight. Hey, look, I ain't fighting at one forty. Can't make the weight. I didn't try it. It's not working. One forty seven. Now I'd be a fool to say to, to not think that Devin Haney, Ron Garcia fight will be a bigger fight. It will. It will be because a lot of people didn't watch this fight. They too, they woke up and they heard they got the news because this it went viral. That Ron Garcia, one of the biggest upsets in boxing, beat Devin Haney. Nobody a lot of people didn't see this one coming. I mean, this was a shock. Uh and if they did have Ron Garcia win, it wasn't in th- it wasn't in this fashion. I mean, he he bulldozed Devin the Dream Haney. Um, Ron Garcia, if, if, it's a big if. Now, they can say, you know, I gave you a shot. You need to give me my shot. You don't give people shots planning on losing. Because you think you're going to win, I guess. That's what I'm going to say. So, Brian Garcia, he can say, look, we're going to fight at 147. You're going to have to come up all the way 147. Uh, I mean, and he's going to get the money. He's going to get the share, the lion's share. Uh, but the reputation of Devin Haney, all that he's worked for, kind of like uh, Errol Spence. Errol Spence was the boogeyman. Now when you think of Errol Spence, all you can think is what Terrence Crawford did to him. Devin Haney, I don't care who he beat. You're not going to, when you think of Devin Haney, you're going to think of Ryan Garcia. (laughs) When Devin Haney think of Ryan Garcia, you're going to think of this guy right here, Kruger. You know, like I say, Devin Haney could have had something taken out of him that fight. That seventh round, they should have stopped that fight. They should have stopped it. They should have stopped that fight. Let me see what this is. Yeah, he's he's standing over him. Yeah, he, he talking. He, oh, he talking trash. Oh, not that one. Hold on. Let me see this one right here. 
This 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 is the classic. That's the classic pose. Mm, mm, mm. They making memes on this guy. He got Devin Haney look like he didn't aged. Man, Devin Haney looked like he 48 years old. <laughs> He's like Kanye West Jaws. He got him speaking through the wire. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his jaws, man. Damn. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. <coughs> Typically, when you get your face swole up and beat up like that, you ain't never the same. Only person I've seen come back with a swollen face after he was cheated by Margarito was Kodo. Kodo, he still wasn't his old self, but he, 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 he you know, he did the best out of Deontay, and uh, we still have yet to see Errol Spence fight since Ter Terrence Crawford. But, I mean, all the cards is in Ryan Garcia's hands. He can do whatever he want. Only person that's go that that's, that can be the A-side is if he fought Gervonta, Gervonta again, Ryan Garcia. Other than that, anybody he fight, he gonna call all the shots. Oscar wasn't lying. He's going to call all the shots. Everything goes through him. Devin Haney needs, <laughs> he needs to, uh, he, oh man. Is it even worth watching that fight again? See, the thing is, the trainer, you heard him say, his dad, I don't know about him being a trainer. They said that they trained for that left hook. That's what they said. But they couldn't stop it. So now you you really need somebody another set of eyes and somebody in there that's gonna that you can train for that and you need somebody that that's gonna give you a good game plan. I don't think he had a good game plan. For one, Devin Haney ain't got no power, so really guys at that weight can just come to him. And I say this: Devin Haney does have looks like his power is better at one forty, but you can still tell that he was drained. His face was sunken in. Sounds like he need to move up to 147, honestly. But, you know, is he willing to do that after just getting the belt? I don't know. They called him a weight bully because he, he blew a uh, balloons up to 160. So he probably should be fighting at 147. Man, I don't know, man. Uh, I think the rematch will be a bigger fight. It'll be big. It'll be a bigger fight. It would. Uh, but if he if Ryan lets them get the rematch, if Devin Haney loses again, like he lost this time, that's it. That's it for him. He might as well hang it up. Uh, like I say, they should have stopped this fight. That seventh round when he couldn't hardly get up, his daddy should have th should have threw the towel in. Man, he should have protected his son. I don't know why he didn't do it. Maybe because he kept on talking, you know, about the Devin Haney era or whatever. I don't know, but he he didn't he didn't protect his son. Bad move. But anyway, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think Ryan's gonna give him a rematch? And if it is, do you think it's gonna be at a catch weight, or do you think it's gonna be at one forty seven? Is he gonna be able to get his lick back? They need to build. If they need to take some time off, I think, and they need to build his confidence back up. But how do you do that now when you're the champion? So you got to defend your belt. So damn if you do, damn if you don't. He's in a bad spot, man. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, I'm out. I am out. Let me get off of this stuff. This is why I can't even get off of this. Let me see. Close this. Close. <laughs> Rise in Miami. He's catching those rays. Oh, man. Damn. Kruger. Mm-hmm.